you guys, this is Allie from Technically Speaking, and today we're going to be talking about wind power! Alright, so wind turbines are super cool. They can be used for generating power in places that don't have a lot, and they can um, just basically use the wind to make electricity, which is really useful. from scratch and here's what I did. If you're not up to the challenge of building it from scratch though, you can also check out the Quick Kidwin website, which I used to find some of these ideas that I used to build this one. For example, using Tinker Toys in the um, blades here. So once again, the website is called kidwin.org and they also sell kits and stuff so you can um, build one of those wind turbine kits. And it, they also have a bunch of competitions that you can enter in your own design in um, and they have them like nationally and stuff so then you'd be able to show off your design and then look at other people's cool designs as well. But I built mine from scratch and here's what I did. The first thing you're going to need in here is a motor. Um, how they work is basically they have a motor on the inside and I chose this motor because it fit in the PVC pipe but you can choose a different size of motor if you want to. Um, generally the smaller the motor then the less power is generated but this is just the size that I use. As you can see in here, I used a little bit of sticky back craft foam as well as some hot glue to secure it in place just because it was slightly smaller than the tube. Um, but I think it worked pretty well and it stays in there pretty well, so yeah. So I soldered my wires into place, but you don't technically have to. If you're not very good at soldering, then you can just wrap them around the um, points there as well. I also secured them in the back with some more craft foam and some tape just to be absolutely sure that it wouldn't wiggle around. Alright, so usually when we use motors, we get up to a power source like a battery or something, which will then make the motor spin. But instead, what we're going to do here is we're going to use the wind power to physically move the motor, which will create energy. So we're using the energy from the wind to go through the motor, which will create energy. Alright, one thing I should tell you is this isn't actually PVC, although I may call it that. It's actually um, some of that old soccer goal, like post stuff that I had, and... You might recognize it because these are actually in Roby's arms as well. Um, but this is basically just something that I found that I didn't have to buy and it had a nice 90 degree angle. And it actually fit the motor pretty well as well. Alright, so what I did here was um, I secured it in place but I also had these wires on the back that go all the way down through the tube and come out on this side. Ah, sorry. So I could hook it up to a... Um, a voltmeter and then I could measure how much energy is being produced. Yeah. If I hook up these two uh, wires to a power source then it'll make my motor turn as well. Alright so as for my blades, um, I used just a thin piece of cardboard on each one. I experimented with a lot of different kinds of thin cardboard. My first uh, part I used cake boxes and then I had a different slice of cake on each one. Um, but now I think I just have something, I don't know. Um, I spray painted it green though because it looked really cool and then I used actually Tinker Toy parts for the um, back and then on the back they're just duct taped and hot glued here and then each of these are hot glued to this middle circle thing. And then I also have a wall anchor here and this is um, generally used to put in walls so that you can 
have a screw in there and then it wouldn't fall out of the wall if you don't have a stud there. But in this case, we're going to use it um, to hook it up to our motor so that it doesn't fall out. So we're just going to stick it in here, probably hot glue it a little bit, and then it'll probably stick to the motor. All right, so now I'm gonna talk about the base. I am particularly proud of this base design because it looks really cool and it works really well. But basically I um, had one here and I had it going out and then I had one at a 90 degree angle with some excess in the middle and I had it going out. I did the same thing here and the same thing here and it ended up going in a full circle and creating this little hole here so that when I stick the actual turbine in, then it stands up in place really well holds it, it's not super wiggly, and it looks really cool. Also, I have a hole drilled in here to let the cord out so that it's not going underneath and making it lopsided. <laughs> so today we're going to use a voltmeter to measure how much energy the wind turbine is generating when it is spun. So I have my two wires on the motor and I have my two wires sticking out of the voltmeter here, so I'm just going to hook them up from alligator clips, or hook them up by alligator clips. With alligator clips? Um, it doesn't really matter which direction they are facing or which side you hook up to which, as long as um, you just remember that if it's reading negative on the voltmeter, it means that you probably have them backwards, so then you'll need to flip them around, but you can still read it, it's just that it'll read negative instead of positive. So now we're going to need some wind, but since we're inside and it's cold outside, then we're going to use a fan. So here's a shout out to all my fans out there, and I want to introduce you to... My biggest fan. <laughs> so with the help of my biggest fan, we now have a working wind turbine. Alright, now that we've got it working alright, let's see how far we can push this thing and turn the fan on high. Alright, now we're really moving and I'd still call it a success. Alright, so you can experiment with the materials you use for your blades, uh, what angles they go at, and um, just the general shapes of the blades. Basically anything about them you can change and just see how much power it generates. You never know, you might even make a great science project for school out of this. Thanks you guys so much for watching. Um, remember to subscribe and uh, follow me on Twitter at Robot Maker Girl. Have fun building your own wind turbines. Also, you can enter in the competitions at kidwind.org and they're super fun. And uh, just post your creations in the comments below. Have fun making!